Matt says, I find the second round pick intriguing. So many needs. Interior offensive line as guard and center, cornerback, edge, wide receiver. What do you think they do? My gut says Shanny can't help himself. We'll take wide receiver, running back. Fish, quick thoughts on the second round pick. Which direction they'll go? So to me, they got to go corner. Okay. I, and I think there is corners available. I mean, Croc, who's the best, in my opinion, at uh, evaluating corners, seems to think there's depth at the corner position this year. So I think corner would be ideal. I actually don't hate the running back idea at, in the second round. Like, I know Kyle Shanahan has gotten a couple games out of Jeff Wilson and a few games out of Raheem Moster and Jermichael Hasty look good for a little while. But the Niners need a sustained guy that they can rely upon if they want to be a run-first team in the backfield. Like, you can't have games where two games Jeff Wilson, then two games Raheem Mostert, then both of them are hurt, two games Jermichael Hasty, now Austin Walter. You need somebody reliable. So from that standpoint, I don't hate the running back. But for me, it's got to be cornerback. You Corner safety have to be addressed in this draft, and they can be addressed in the middle rounds because the Niners have set starters, at least for next year. I think it's going to be running back because I don't think the, the Niners have kind of shown they don't really plan ahead at corner. Like they had a need last year and didn't do anything about it. They could just say, well, we'll draft corners next year or we'll sign a bunch of vets on one year deals. Um what all the things you said about the running back, they're going to be like, yeah, man, we started Jared McKinnon here last day four times. Plus, they've already shown a propensity to make big investments in running backs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So why not? I wouldn't be. I mean, I mean they, not, did yeah. pay, they did pay the premium for Jet McKinnon when Matt Breida had a pretty good rookie season. They were allegedly West, interested in Le'Veon, Le'Veon Bell. Bell. They did give Tevin Coleman two years, $10 million. So this they is a position. Straight up to take Joe Williams when no one yeah. else had them on their draft. I mean, they, they like doing this. And it's one of the biggest differences between Conlon's dad. Although I mean, his, dad his dad did make a trade for dad, Tatum Bell. Did he right, not right. draft Tatum Bell? Second round? Right. His Bell. dad also drafted Clinton Portis and then traded him for Champ Bailey. That's true. That was a really yeah. good trade. I would yeah, and then, for but, I mean, Mark Mark Schler, who played for his dad, one of my – I actually just like his commentating for the Niners games because I just love the way he goes, Kyle Shanahan, he's just like his dad. He wants to run the football, man. He just wants to run the football. And I love when he says that, but um, <laughs> he always says that, yeah, Orlando's Gary had a 1,000-yard season. Yeah, Chris, Chris Clinton Portis had a couple good seasons. Yeah, Tatum Bell had a couple good seasons. Yeah, Mike Bell was – pretty good but they won the super bowl for two years when they had who they had the hall of fame guy in terrell yeah. davis so that's right i do think that makes a difference and i i'm still someone who believes that if you take a player like dalvin cook and you put him in this run game in the offense you can go to the super bowl just with your run game and what pick was dalvin cook i think he was 35 or 36 and who did the niners take instead of him reuben foster mm -hmm. so yeah there are examples where taking a quarter a running back right at that spot is the, is the good pick but but Cook was also a big character risk coming out of Florida State too. So he didn't have a great combine either, and I think he had injuries. He was just such a freaking stud in college that it was yeah. not surprising that he's as good as he is in the NFL. 